Hello, everyone, and Easter greetings from Christ's Church Rye. Today is Thursday, April 23rd, and I am speaking to you from the chancel of our church. And behind me, you can see two flags, the American flag and the British flag. Today is the feast day of St. George, and St. George is the patron saint of England. And his story is um, a wild one of, of legend. I thought I'd share a little bit about it with you. But before I do, just uh, to note that Christ Church has a very special relationship with England and in particular with uh, St. Mary's Church of Rye, England. And back in 1942, during the Second World War, our two parishes decided to celebrate together in order to honor our, our bonds of affection and to lift up the uh, service and sacrifice of those in the armed forces on both sides of the Atlantic who served our, our two nations fighting for peace and for justice. And so on the second Sunday of Advent each year, our church and the Church um, of St. Mary's in Rye, England, rejoice and honor one another by singing one another's national songs and also by, by crossing these two flags as a sign of our, our connection and our gratitude. So, St. George, I'm going to show you an icon I picked up in the Holy Land about five years ago. This is the most famous story about St. George, St. George slaying the dragon. So legend has it that George was a, uh, a Christian who was a member of the Roman army in the early fourth century. And this was a time of, of horrible, violent persecution against Christians in the earliest days of the church. George is said to have arrived at a town in Libya, or a city in Libya, with his regiment. And this was a town that was being beset by a plague-ridden dragon that lived in the lake. In order to collect water from the lake, the members of the, of the city needed to appease the dragon by giving him food. So they would sacrifice two sheep a day or two lambs in order to be given um, security to collect the water. But after a while, the lambs and the sheep ran out. And so the community had to offer human sacrifice to the dragon. So they created a kind of lottery system by which they would then select one person to be offered as a sacrifice in order to collect the much needed water for their survival. Well, when George and his regiment came to the community, um, the name that was called to be sacrificed was the king's own daughter. And in his despair and terror, he appealed to George and said that if George could solve the problem of the dragon, that he would have his entire city convert to Christianity. And George indeed slayed the dragon and performed this great evangelical feat. George was eventually martyred for his faith because the emperor insisted that all members of the army um, give sacrifices and pay homage to the pagan gods and George refused because he was a Christian and he was eventually uh, martyred. Um, it's curious that he is the patron saint of England because he never set foot in England, but some people believe that he was the perfect saint, not only because of his valor and heroism and because he was a great soldier and embodied these, um, these characteristics so dear to the hearts of the British people, but also um, because he wasn't from any particular location in Britain that everybody could get behind him. So today your video, um, uh, is, a, is a, a piece of music very dear to our parish that is sung every Rye England Sunday, Jerusalem. And we have put to it some, um, some uh, pictures, a slideshow of uh, photographs from last year's Rye England Sunday service. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching and God bless you.